George Loewy, Cobb de Buffon was a French naturalist, mathematician. Buffon's needle problem. How to define the value of pi by dropping a needle. A 20 mm long needle is dropped on a plane with parallel lines 20 mm apart. What is the probability that the needle will cross a line? Let n be some large number of throws of the needle. K. The most probable total of needle intersections with the lines. So K over 20 is the most probable total of 1 mm long needle intersections with the lines. If we consider a 5 mm long needle piece, then 5K over 20 is the most probable total of 5 mm long needle piece intersections with the lines. If we consider a 9 mm long needle piece, then NK over 20 is the most probable total of 9 mm long needle piece intersections with the lines. This number is proportional to the length of the needle. If we consider a curved needle, then K is still the most probable total of needle intersections with the lines. Independent of the shape of the needle. Independent of the shape of the needle. Consider that the needle is in the shape of a circle with a diameter of 20 mm. Each throw always gives us two intersections. For any n number of throws of the needle, the number of the probable total intersections will be 2n. The length of a circle-shaped needle is pi times bigger than the original 20 mm long needle. So 2n equals pi times k. By dropping the needle n times and counting number, k, of intersections with the lines we can define the value of pi. The probability that the needle will cross a line is 2 over pi. Let's check it with calculus. Consider an arbitrary position of the needle. The probability of a needle intersection with the lines equals to the ratio of the area under the curve to the area of the rectangle. Let's check the value of pi experimentally. <laughs> 